Hello YouTubers, welcome to video 4. Just going to do a little short bit on my detector so people can see what I'm using. Um, it's a CS4ZX machine, comes with a standard 8 inch coil. Uh, but when I go out tomorrow, I've switched over to this ridiculously small 4 and a quarter inch coil. And you can see, there's the size of my foot. And there's the standard versus my little mini coil. It is quite small. It picks up loads of small stuff, but it is very, very sensitive. Right, just to give you a bit uh, of an overview of the displays of the 4ZX. Uh, we have standard discrimination knob here, on and off. We have sensitivity here with the on off for the detector built in. We have notch here. Um, so if you're finding lots of ring pulls, you can actually set the detector to ignore ring pulls only using this control and the reject and accept switch adjacent to it. This switch here is three position. If you flick it down using the meter here, it gives you an indication of how good your batteries are. Put it in the middle and then you use it in conjunction with your ground control to set your ground. And if you flick it up, it's got meter discrimination. So when you're over the top of the target, it will move either left or right for ferrous and non-ferrous targets. And you've got your inland beach ground switch here as well. Okay, well I've put a coin on the floor, you can see the meters in the middle there. It's now on discrimination for ferrous and non-ferrous. Move over the coin, you can see it bang over to the right there. It's found it, take it away, it goes back to centre again. The, the position of the needle and the strength of the signal also gives you some indication as to the depth of what you're digging. So underneath the detector you have this little flick switch here. If you want to re-zero the meter, which you do quite often, you just pull the switch towards you and it re-zeroes. If you run it in the middle, this is a two-stage machine here, it runs in non-motion mode, which means that you don't have to swing it about wherever you are, the detector's working and will read signals. If you flick it away from you, it puts it into motion mode and you must be swinging the head for the detector to actually read. So as I say, it's two different detectors in one. On the very back of the control box, you have a three-position switch here with the numbers 1, 2 and 3. You normally run on 2, which is the centre frequency. It's a 12 kilohertz hertz machine. Um, but if there's other detectors running on that frequency, you can actually go to frequency 1 or 3, which allows you to operate without them interfering. Also, uh, right at the very back where your arm cuff is, um, you've got your batteries, which is 6 AAs, which go in here. This is your earphone socket. And then you can actually put a rechargeable battery pack in and you can actually plug your charger in there and charge it up but unfortunately mine never came with it so I don't use it I just run on normal batteries.